Hello, my pre-K um, friends, my earth lovers, and my botanists. Today, I'm going to be sharing this book with you called Living Sunlight, How Plants Bring the Earth to Life. And it is illustrated by Molly Bang, and you will recognize some of these illustrations from um, the book when Sophie gets really, really angry. I love that, and I love all her the way Molly Bang does her paintings. And it's also, this book is also written by Penny Chisholm. So this is a book um, to help us understand more about our earth and plants. And it is kind of a fun book because it's written as if the sun is talking to you. So um, let's get started on this book. Look at the stars. Living Sunlight, How Plants Bring the Earth to Light. Do you see the earth? Okay, listen to me. Do this one thing. Lay your hand over your heart and feel. Feel your heart, pump, pump, and pump. Feel how warm you are. That is my light alive inside of you. I am your sun, your golden star. I burn. My light energy explodes in all directions. Most fades into endless space, but some tiny, tiny part of my light falls on your small planet Earth. I warm your land and seeds, seas, <laughs> melt your glaciers, create your winds, I do all this, but I do far, far more. My light becomes the energy for all life on earth. All living things, including you, pulse with my light and keep it circling around, around on earth. How do living things do this? What is your secret? You see how the light, it's, you can't really see it, but if you, in your imagination, right? Light is shining down and coming out of all these animals and the people and the water. All the energy, the light energy from inside. Your secret starts in plants, green plants. Plants suck up water, H2O, from the earth in daylight Green plants catch my energy with their chlorophyll. So don't forget, if, if, the, if I'm reading and it says they catch my energy, it's the sun talking, right? So they catch the energy from the sun. And then, kazap! Plants use my energy to break apart the water, break the H2O into H and O2, hydrogen and oxygen. But as plants break apart the water, they trap my energy as little packets. Meanwhile, plants are breathing. Yes, plants breathe. They breathe out the oxygen they broke off from the water and breathe in carbon dioxide, which is also written CO2, from the air. Now, plants use the packets of my energy and the carbon dioxide from the air to build Chunka, chunka, chunka. Sugar! And with this sugar, plants build all their parts. All the leaves and stems and juices, all the seeds and fruit and flowers of all the plants on earth are built with sugar made from air and water using my light energy. So from the sun's energy. This is photosynthesis making life with sunlight my light this is my gift of energy to you isn't that cool plants do that but wait you are not green you have no leaves and no chlorophyll you cannot catch my light and neither can your parents or your friends, your teachers, or any reptile, insect, fish, bird, or mammal in the whole wide world. So, how do you get my energy? 
do you know? So you can see all the people and the animals looking up and feeling the glow from the sun and catching the energy, but how are they doing that without leaves and chlorophyll? Okay, we're gonna read to find out. Wow, look at this beautiful painting. Yes, you eat plants. When you eat their leaves and stems and juices, when you eat their seeds and fruit and flowers, you eat my energy, my living light. Amazing, did you ever think of that when you were eating your vegetables that you were eating energy from the sun? Isn't that amazing? Or your fruits? Any plant that you eat? Maybe that's why it's so important to eat your fruits and vegetables. One of the reasons, right? And plants do even more than give you food. Remember how in photosynthesis, the green plants breathe out oxygen? What happens to that oxygen? It fills the air. All the oxygen you living creatures breathe comes from green plants. That's why we need to help keep those green plants alive. Help plant trees, right? So we can have more oxygen in the air. Breathe in and feel the oxygen flow into your nose, your mouth, and all through your body. Oxygen is a gift from plants to you. Your body uses oxygen together with the sugars from the plants. Your body burns them slowly to make energy that you use to move and grow and live. Without plants, you would have no oxygen. Without plants, you would have no food. Without plants, you could not live. Without plants, there would be no life on earth. Now breathe out. It is not oxygen that you exhale. When you use the sugars from the plants for energy, the sugars break apart inside your body, changing back into water and carbon dioxide. So now you breathe out carbon dioxide and the plants all breathe it in. They will use it to build more sugar, food for themselves and other living things. There the person is blowing out and the plant is taking it in. So you see, Life keeps circling around and around on your planet, Earth, through photosynthesis and through yourselves, and then out through you, right? And then back around, around and around a cycle. You share life with everything alive. Amazing. It's the life cycle. Lay your hand over your heart and feel. Feel my light inside of you. You hold my light and make it live. You are living sunlight. Wow. Doesn't that make you feel powerful? And this has a bunch of little notes. This is the part that I can't read. Do you want to read aloud? Better for when you're in bed, right? Um, to read all these little things. But so interesting. Such a scientist you are. And this is the back of the book. And isn't that a beautiful book? And it teaches us a lot. It's, it's, there's a lot of new words in there, um, but most of all, it does teach us about the living sunlight and how plants bring the earth to life. Thank you so much for reading with me, friends. Um, I will see you later. Love you, bye.